guys how are you guys doing you're welcome to another great time with your girl again Eniola yes for e28 fashion school okay so today I want to make this draped cow um, bottom of this cow gown okay now we are not looking at all the gown no 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 we are not looking at everything okay we're just looking at the lower part okay the top part is just a kimono okay if you see it it's just a kimono on its own okay so we are just looking at the lower part okay good so let us get to work all right so what i have here is i have my 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 pattern piece my blocks i have my sketch block because i'm making i'm just looking at the lower part which um is just like a sketch okay so if i want to make it into a sketch or a gown you can always modify it okay so i have my front and my back okay sorry i haven't cut this so let me just quickly cut it off okay so i have my front and also my back this is my center front CB, SB, SF. Okay, that's side, front, and side back. Okay, so what you do now is you bring the side back and the side front together. Okay, you bring them together. Okay, now remember when you are drafting, make your pattern, make draft your skirt pattern to your desired length. Okay, and also make it a pegged a peg that's pencil skirt okay or a pencil gown it doesn't matter if it's a gown or if it's a skirt you can always do this on either of them okay all right so what you do next is you want to bring your pattern piece all right you want to bring your pattern piece this way okay you want them to align at the hem like so all right and then then you're going to use your masking tape paper tape scotch tape what kind of what kind Whatever kind of tape you have, okay, you just use it to um, tape this down, okay. You tape it down like so, okay. And so, the next thing you want to do is simple. Now, remember, I had my dad, so because um because of the way I drafted it, I have to turn it over, okay. So I'm going to just redraw my front, uh, my back, my back um that. Okay, I'm going to redraw it so that you'll be able to see it. This is the back block and then the front block. Okay, all right. So the next thing I want to do is simple. I just want to draw a line. Okay, so just watch me the way I draw my line. So somewhere from the CB, SB, sorry, this is the um, center, sorry, center, center back. Okay, from this center back, I'll draw this like so to this point. To the center front okay now before we continue please I want to I want you to know that you need to decide where because if you look at this style okay from the waist downward it is connected to this because it's a symmetrical style okay so it is connected to this all right so it is sewn here all right so you need to decide where this this um, curve is going to stop at where is it going to stop at you need to decide it okay so um i'm going to decide okay it's going to stop here okay okay i'm going to decide it's going to stop somewhere here okay for me it's going to stop somewhere here all right so it doesn't matter if you are stopping here on or wherever just the, what you just do is just draw this line like so all right draw another one like so you can draw as much as you want okay and then I'm going to draw another one to meet my dart all right I'm going to draw another one to meet my dart my dart is here okay so I'm going to draw another one to meet my dart okay so I just use a red pen to connect to redraw this line so that you'll be able to see it okay so i just draw it doesn't matter if it's straight line or whatever at the end of the day it doesn't really matter okay so what you want to do next is to come after your dart towards your sides okay and then you also draw this line to the side okay you draw another one to the side okay now i'm just going to stop here all right you can decide to go further than this you can decide to do like draw more lines okay because if you look at the skirt the skirt has a pleat okay there is pleat at the uh, at the waist okay so it's more like um it is there's a fullness okay so you need to um pleat the fullness okay so now that i have this all right the next thing i want to do is i want to just number them okay so this one i'm going to number it one one 
two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. On both patterns, okay. On both patterns, okay. That's the front and back. I'm going to name them accordingly. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So when I'm done, the next thing I want to do is I want to remove my, I want to remove them from from each other yeah unglue them and then I'm going to slash so the slash I'm going to do is not like the regular slash whereby you slash and then you don't cut through okay you cut through this okay all right so um, so what you do is I'm going to do this now why I number it is because I want to just make it I want it to be easier for me to know wh which one is which one and to make sure that my pattern aligns okay all right so I'm going to cut it all right so I'm going to just take this away because I'll need the space all right okay now see this is my that okay this is my that so see watch what I do I'll just pick a that leg and then I'll cut it through okay can you see but I still have my that here okay so I will turn it over and cut my dart away this is my dart i don't need it anymore all right so i'll go on and then i'll cut this okay i'll go on and cut this all right and then to do the same thing for this one i'll cut this okay i'll cut this this way okay so can you see it all right so the next thing also the same thing to i'll do the same thing for this one also okay so i don't know if you can see what i'm doing all right so i'll do this and then the same thing i did for the other parts my dad i'll just cut i'll just pick a dart leg and then i'll cut through and then the remaining dart okay if the dart if the remaining dart is on this pattern i'll pick it up and then cut out the dart but if it's not on that pattern then i'll just pick the one that it is like this one and then i'll cut it off okay all right so I'm going to cut this also and then do the same thing for this one okay do the same thing for this one all right so now this one represents my front and then my back okay so now you can decide that oh you want to um, you can decide that you want to spread it on your fabric or you want to spread it on your paper first okay whichever you want to do just do it rightly <laughs> all right guys so now look at what I do look at what I would do okay one to one all right if I'm spreading it I just want to spread it here so that you'll be able to see it with this back black background okay because by the time I place it either on my fabric or my paper I've not decided yet you might not um, get the arrangements okay so I'm just going to do it here all right so see what I'm doing okay okay See, I'm going to open this one as wide as I want, but I'll make sure that they touch. It is very important that they touch. I'm not making them touch this way, no. I'm just going to make the tip, the hem, make it touch, okay? Remember, I'm not using any sewing allowance here, okay? So, you make it touch, okay? Open it as wide as you want, all right? And then, just use your glue or your um your tape your masking tape on top okay so this one also all right so you want to open it in such a way that you will have enough material you have enough to um to spread all of this because the waist has a seam allowance or uh, sorry the waist has um fullness which is um a pleat okay so you need to also do that for this okay so I'm going to take two two like so can you see so I'm creating that fullness at the waist Re remember this is my waist right so I'm creating that fullness there all right so I'm going to do three three this one is three okay this one is three now if you think the excess here is too much you can close this a bit okay you can close it a bit but personally um, let me see the style again um, I'm going to just leave it this way I'm going to leave it this way so that the um, it will really drape okay so that we have enough uh, material to make it drape there okay so um, after three we have four okay so we have four 
four four okay so this four all right we have three sorry five we have five okay and then we have six and then we have six here okay oh um okay 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 now doing it this way is going to drape a lot it's going to drape very very well okay it's going to drape very well so can you see how it is okay so now um you can decide so this is how i'm going to do it and then i'm going to shape it now when i'm shaping here i'm just coming like this and then i'm shaping it to this point okay i'm shaping it to this point okay so let me just um place it on my i'm going to place it directly on my fabric and then I'll cut. You can decide to do it on your on another paper. It's all it's all your choice, okay? Half of front, half of back, the side there is no seam, okay? So it's going to be one piece. All right? So you cut two of these, you, you fold your material into two and then you cut it. All right? So when you cut it, you have left side and right side. No side seam, the back and front is cut together as a one piece okay so if i'm doing that now the you have a zip at the back all right remember you you should put your your um zip allowance okay now for the front you need to add a sewing allowance which will which you will sew this okay sorry which you will sew this all right okay so i'm not going to add it because i'm not um i'm not going to add sewing allowance okay Okay, so watch me the way I add, the way I cut this, okay? Now remember this is our waist okay so now here is the side remember this is the side this is the waist the front and also the back okay so sorry this is the back this is the front okay so um, this is the side all right this is the side all right so you you're going to add now when you saw this skirt remember I, at the beginning I said uh, I said there is no side seam but there's a kind of side seam it's just a small side seam at the top it's just like a dart okay so you need to add your sewing allowance if you are sewing it but because i'm not sewing this i'm just spinning it on my mannequin so i'm not going to add my sewing allowance okay so you do it this way okay so you add your sewing allowance here okay this is part of the side okay don't worry i'm not going to take this paper off until i finish pinning it on my fat mannequin all right so when i'm here okay for the back all right i'm just going to um going to blend it okay because if you look at the back we have this um sorry if you look at the skirt it's from front to back okay so we're going to do that and then we stop here so can you see the way i cut this out okay can you see it okay so the next thing i want to do is to take my mannequin and then i'm going to pin it for you to see all right okay so this is um uh, this is her the last video i made i told you guys to give her a name but none of you have responded yet <laughs> so i'm just going to pin this now remember this is my front this is the waist okay can you see this is the waist all right so um this is the center front look at it number one is the waist all right so i'm just going to pin here to the cf and then pleat it now you're pleating um pleating it you can pleat it on any position you want like any direction you want okay i'm sorry about that noise <laughs> okay so i'm going to just do it this way all right and then this okay so i'm just going to imagine i have sewn it to this point okay and then i'll pleat it so i'll just keep pleating it at the waist all right and at the same time i'll be removing my 
uh, my paper so that you'll be able to see what I have been doing, okay? And then I have number six, okay? Now remember number six, I said this place is a scene, okay? It's a scene. So I'm just going to hold it lightly, okay? I'm going to hold it just lightly. I'm going to hold it like a scene, okay? Remember I did not add seam allowance, so <laughs> I'm just going to hold it a bit. Okay, so I'm going to remove my paper, okay, and then remove this one. So can you see what we are having now? Okay, can you see what we are having, alright? Now remember this fabric is not like a very drapey fabric. Okay, so this is the back, and then for the back also I'm going to pleat it. this one okay I'm going to pleat this one too okay and I'm going to pleat this one also And then I have one more pleat to go. So here. Okay, so the back I am going to do this. Okay. So so can you see our skirts? Alright. So now usually you have you just have the seam here, just a small seam, and then it will be inside okay so it will make the rest the, it will make the rest drape okay so can you see the drape oh my god this is this is so lovely this is so lovely so can you see it all right can you see it okay can you see it so lovely so i'm going to take the picture or i'm going to i'm going to take the video close-up video for you to see when i um, drop it on the stand okay all right guys so guys here we are see how beautiful it is okay so beautiful so i actually made mine shorter very shorter than the picture okay now you can see the drape okay you can see the drape and also the side seam okay so see notice can you see that below here there is no uh what is it called there is no um drape in there okay this is because remember when i was making the video the uh, when i was placing the pattern on my fabric the number two and three i think it's actually overlapped okay so if your paper overlaps you will have this issue okay so make sure it doesn't overlap all right so that's why you do not have a drape here that's why it's not drapey there okay so see how wonderful it is okay guys thank you so much for your time please subscribe um, like comment and please don't forget to share thank you so much do have a lovely day bye